Hello, and welcome to the Economics and Research channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful content like this. And don't forget to like and share this video with your colleagues and friends. In today's video, we will be discussing strategies for conducting a systematic literature review for postgraduate students. Conducting a literature review is an essential component of any research project, and a systematic review can help to ensure that your research is thorough, comprehensive, and credible. Whether you are working on a thesis or a dissertation, these strategies will help you to conduct a systematic literature review that meets the highest standards. 1. Define your research question and inclusion criteria. The first step in conducting a systematic literature review is to define your research question and inclusion criteria. Your research question should be specific, focused, and clearly articulated. Your inclusion criteria should outline the parameters of your search, including the type of literature you will include, the time frame of your search, and any other relevant factors. 2. Develop a comprehensive search strategy. Once you have defined your research question and inclusion criteria, you need to develop a comprehensive search strategy. This strategy should include the databases you will search, the keywords you will use, and any other search parameters you will employ. Your search strategy should be designed to capture all relevant literature, including gray literature and unpublished research. 3. Screen your results. After conducting your search, you will likely have a large number of results. You will need to screen these results to identify the literature that meets your inclusion criteria. You should first screen titles and abstracts to eliminate obviously irrelevant articles. Then, you will need to read the full text of articles that appear to meet your inclusion criteria to determine whether they are truly relevant to your research. 4. Extract data from relevant articles. Once you have identified the literature that meets your inclusion criteria, you will need to extract data from these articles. This may include information about the study design, sample size, data collection methods, and other relevant factors. This data will be used to synthesize the findings of your literature review. 5. Synthesize the findings of your literature review. The final step in conducting a systematic literature review is to synthesize the findings of your review. This involves analyzing the data you have extracted from relevant articles and identifying patterns, themes, and conclusions. Your synthesis should be structured and transparent, with clear documentation of the methods you use to extract and synthesize data. Conclusion in conclusion, conducting a systematic literature review is a rigorous and demanding process, but it is essential for producing high-quality research. By following these strategies, you can ensure that your literature review is comprehensive, credible, and meets the highest standards of academic excellence. Remember to define your research question and inclusion criteria develop a comprehensive search strategy, screen your results, extract data from relevant articles, and synthesize your findings. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful content like this. And don't forget to like and share this video with your colleagues and friends.